ultimately the gospel is um, redemption and reconciliation and all things new. I think it's taking a broken world and broken people and broken nations and restoring them and reconciling them back to God and perfection, to holiness and blamelessness. The gospel is just a perfect, loving, holy God taking imperfect, broken people and making them new. I think it's people that are empty and are lost and have no direction in life. And um, just, you know, it's just curses broken and them turning into just redemption. I think redemption is probably my favorite word because it just shows just how God just takes things that are broken and are just completely messed up and makes them new and useful. Um, and I think another important part of the gospel you can't forget is just that it's something that we do on our own. I think it's a free. It's, it's important to know that it's a free gift to God and that the gospel is freely given to us because God just loves us and He sees that there is a need for it. So He freely gives us Jesus on the cross to pay for our sins and to reconcile us back to Him because we can't do it on our own. So it's just, um, I think... If the gospel wasn't a free gift, then we would never be able to attain it because we can't work towards it. So, because we're going to fail continually, but thankfully we have the gospel for that reason. So, um, we we do have a, a fresh start. We do have grace for every mistake that we will make. That should give us all the more reasons to want to live for Him and glorify Him and live in holy obedience because of because He's worth it and um, because of the gospel.